Hello guys, Archangel here bringing you Rome Total War Online Battle number 11 and this was meant to be a 4 player free for all but it's a free player free for all because I skipped the part where this player here who decided to play as Greece went fuck this, I ain't playing against Romans and got all of his units killed by just charging them out of phalanx, all his Greek cavalry just straight into the Romans here so yeah, what a douche but we'll have a look at my army first. I'm playing as Germania today. It's a new faction to me. I'd never really play them. But I've got four units of Gothic Cavalry, gold, gold. I've got four units of Spear Warband, gold, gold. Two units of... Yeah, two units of Chosen Axemen, gold, gold. I've got them just chilling down there. And three units of Chosen Archer Warband, gold, silver. Wait, two of them are gold, gold. One's gold, silver. The weakened Roman here has one, two, three, four, five, four units of Urban Cohort. Gold, gold, and two units of Legionary Cohort, gold, gold. He also has one unit of Praetorian Cavalry, gold, gold, and four units of Roman Archers, gold. So this Roman was pretty weak, so he wasn't going to put much of a fight against us, and he was actually going to send some of his units to attack Macedon over here for some reason. Which gave me space to move my cavalry around here to flank his uh, troops. And so, as you can see, he's getting ready to fire what Pelery has remaining from what the Greeks. And my archers are firing over the top as well at them. These are a legionary cohort right here, so they're not as strong as the urbans, but they can do the job. But he, d he has got a much weakened army, and so I'm just going to decide to flank him. And he's going to try and get his urbans to my cavalry here. He's going to get some peeler off close range here, and that's going to be very nasty. I'm just going to charge into his cavalry, or well, his leftover cavalry here, and completely wipe the unit out right there. And my chosen maximum are going to come round to attack these Romans here, and they're going to do a pretty good job doing so. Get a nice charge up there. And his chosen maximums, I found out, are quite good against uh, Romans. They're managing to kill quite a lot here, as we can see. And yeah, here come my cavalry now, straight into the back of his units. And my chosen maximum over here have managed to right route his urban cohort and there goes his general so that's pretty much over there and we'll have a look at the Macedonian army down here controlled by Geoffrey of the KOTW clan he has four units of Cretian archers they have I can't see the upgrades because I'm so far away they have just gold he has five units of raw pikemen, gold, gold, and I think it's four units of companion cavalry, gold, gold. So I was not going to let him take this hill here. I'm just going to be very uh, selfish and run straight for the hill to give me the advantage since my army was weakened. I'd lost quite a lot of chosen axemen and a bit of my spearmen, not too much though. But my cavalry was still pretty much intact. I was going to get a charge on the side here in his cavalry, as we can see. Which was uh, going to do a whole lot of ha bad stuff for his cavalry right there. That instantly route to my gothic cavalry from that charge down the hill into the side of them there. And I'm going to get them sort of nice and surrounded right here. But yeah, these gothic cavalry are pretty good as I found out. I didn't think they were going to be that good, but they are good cavalry. They can beat these companions as we can see. I'm not sure how they're doing a face-to-face -face fight though on, say, the grassy flatlands. But the companion cavalry is now routing and... The Royal Parkman are marching up the hill here towards my Spear Warband, so we're just going to sit here and have the nice head advantage. I was going to make sure uh, I get as least routing the come back as possible by killing a lot more of the cavalry and there's some Roman units here that survived the battle. This was a squad resolution by the way, but I wasn't too bothered about chasing down routing units because I'd already took down a Roman army, so I just needed to beat Macedon here. And this is going to be very bad for my Chosen Axe, as we can see. It's completely wiped out the Chosen Axeman unit there, but I do get the charge into the back of his cavalry, and that's going to kill them. And up the hill come the Royal Pikemen now, which my uh, Spear Warband aren't going to be very good against. Spear Warband are pretty poor, to be honest. They've got low armour. But they do get the job done. That's why I took them. I can get the Rama Cavalry around to flank them, and that's all they need doing. And here I'm going to be able to get these small unit of Chosen Axemen round to flank the Royal Pikemen here, which is going to be good. I, they got me out of uh, Phalanx for some reason there, but they did get back in in time to have a few casualties. And the, my cavalry are coming round here, they're just uh, attacking some of the Cretian archers at the moment. 
and this unit has got into melee combat with this unit right now and they are actually losing still and here come my gothic cavalry though to, to turn the tables and that they do and my chosen axemen have come round here to flank these unit of royal pikemen and the balance of forces isn't evenly matched there but it looks like I'm winning to be honest and my gothic cavalry is going to charge into the back of his general unit here that's the unit we need to take out really As we can see, their numbers are dropping pretty rapidly here, from 60 to 50 in a matter of 5 seconds. And the units over here have completely routed, and all that remains are the Cretan archers. And that's his army in flight, so I'll get the scoreboard up in a second. Got, oh, he, do have, he does have these two units of raw appointment here, who routed my, um, they routed my spear wall, but we'll have a look at these first. We'll have a look how I defeated these, these units. Because I have uh, only a few spearmen left, as we can see, so I had to rely on my cavalry here, which, well, which I did, and they did the job. And I lost another unit spear warband here. He fought to the last man, the good lad. And all my archers who were out of ammo have also ran in to join in the slaughter here on the royal pikemen. And the chosen axemen, of course, have stayed to fight. Chosen as Axemen are stabbing in the back here. The spears are going everywhere in circles here. They're just stabbing whoever they can. Uh, probably even stabbing their own men. Well, they don't, I don't think they can, but that's what they would be doing. And huge sandwich here. Huge, huge sandwich. But one unit has gone now, and they are fighting to the death. And this unit remains 68 troops in it now. But uh, their numbers are going down rapidly, and they're getting squished, as we can see here. And they went down to 70 to. 34 in no tires, my cavalry, they've got 40. And they're both rounds, so that's pretty much the game. So, I could go into our opponents and I'll get the score gold. Okay, so here's the score gold for you guys. You can pause the video here and check out. And I'm going to get the unit statistics up right now. There we go. So, I'll see you guys soon.